How's it going, you guys? Thank you so much for being here. We're gonna explore a castle. Look at this. This is going to be a very, very short video for you guys. I just wanna put this up to share with all of you what this location has to offer. So right now we are in Groton, Massachusetts. I'm going to explain the history of this location starting right now. In 1906, General William Bancroft began building this castle in the scenic Gibbet Hill in his hometown in Groton. He was a soldier, a politician, and businessman. But Bancroft's dream project only got as far as the castle tower and the bungalow. By the time he finished those two buildings, he ran out of money. He kept the property for about 12 years and then he sold it to a man named Harold Ayers, a physician who converted the structure into a sanatorium. Through the 1920s, Patients in the area suffered from tuberculosis. The ones that can only pay about $20 a week can reap the benefits of the fresh air and treatments offered by the castle. At the end of the decade, the hospital closed down and the space was used as a social center where dances and other events were held by a certain club in the area. So the structure actually got burnt down on the 4th of July in 1932 by a firecracker accident. Now this remains as a hiking trail. The castle ruins obviously offers great views and a perfect dramatic backdrop for any photographer. As with any ruins in New England, combined with the local legend, apparently there was hangings in the 1600s. I am going to get into that later in the video. Let's see if that's true. We are going to go ghost hunting here and hopefully we can find something. So come along with me on this ride and let's see if we can actually capture a ghost today. Oh man, I really hope so. My guess is that this place has to have some paranormal activity. If it doesn't, kind of makes sense. But if people had tuberculosis in this location, then there has to be deaths, right? People say that they see apparitions of ghosts looking like colonials. I don't think that's necessarily true either. There's no way that this place was around in the 1600s. This place got built in the 1900s. There's no way there was any hangings or any people wearing colonial anything around this time. So we are going to use the spirit box first and let's see if we can find anything. The science of the spirit box is in the description down below. This is not a walkie talkie. This is actually a gateway for spirits to communicate with us. This is for science and research and this is serious. AM in reverse. When I put it in this setting, then I won't be able to get interference from radio stations. It's impossible to. If any spirit is around me right now, can you please come forward? Do you have anything to say at all? Today is your chance. Did you die from tuberculosis? I don't think there is any sign of ghosts in this location at all. So the first day I didn't get anything. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? I'm in a different clothing. It's a completely different day. Um, I want to see if I can get evidence on the next investigation. So roll day two, knowing last time I was here, I didn't capture anything at all, but we're gonna try. First things first, we're gonna use a spirit box. It's going to be an AM in reverse, so there's no false positives. If we get anything from these tuberculosis patients, they will speak to us through here. Is there any patients who had tuberculosis in this castle? Can you please say your name? I come with respect, I come with love. If you're here right now, can you please let me know? I want you to try to use your energy and speak through this microphone that is on top of this device. It will not harm you, it just allows you to talk. Can you try for me? So far there's nothing. So nobody passed away here or did you just move on? 
All right, so day two was a bust. So far, after day two, I'm realizing this place is not haunted. But I'm going to try one more time. So let's roll day number three, and we're gonna start off with an EVP recorder. The sun is so bright, it is now currently 8.30 a.m. Let's get this show on the road, okay? EVP recorder time, let's see if we get anything. To the ones who passed away from tuberculosis, I come with respect and love. If you are here, please let me know by either touching me, making yourself visible, or speaking into the device that is in front of my hands. All right, we got nothing, nothing at all, which is fine. All right, spirit box. We're gonna try this again. If nothing comes from this device, then it is what it is. AM in reverse. Is there anybody in this location right now willing to talk to me? My name is Noah, what is yours? Are you still here? Are you still? sick from the disease is there a man here is there a spirit man around this castle I'm getting nothing oh my god you see the bright sun that's literally beaming this place is not haunted not every old structure is third time i visited this location and there was nothing from the spirit box once more so it looks like this place doesn't have a lot. So real quick, I would like to thank you guys for the support. Thank you so much for this many subscribers. I really want 300 subscribers. So guys, click that red button if you are enjoying the video, please. Because that would make me happy. And I really hope that you are happy watching these videos. All right, just wanted to make this clear for you guys. Ghost hunting can sometimes be unsuccessful. You can go to a location, a haunted location, and get completely nothing, but that's okay. I have a lot of patience when it comes to paranormal investigating. It takes time. It takes a long time. You can be in a haunted location and get nothing for like hours. I didn't sense anything. I knew that the cat toys and the SLS cameras will not work here. I thought in my head that considering the history of tuberculosis patients in this castle, I thought that there would be a lot of deaths. But they started finding the cure for tuber tuberculosis during the time that they were bringing patients into this castle. So probably none of them passed away. I don't think there is any spirits in this location. This is one of the times where I actually haven't got anything. Um, but like I said, that's all right. All right, let's cue the outro. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please do. There's other videos here that I want to show you guys from hotels to crazy cemeteries that I've been to at night. Um, if you are interested, check these out, guys. Seriously, check them out. They're dope. All right, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Do not die out there. Or else I'll be investigating you.